Good morning, my parent toddler friends. I have a new story to read to you today. And look, I also have a special guest. This is my dog, Briggsy. I wanted to show him to you today because the story I chose to read is about another dog named Harry. So let's start. This book is called Harry the Dirty Dog. It's one of my favorites. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. Do you see Harry right there? He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Here he is, right up here. He played tag with the other dogs and became dirtier still. <gasps> Look at Harry getting so dirty. He slid down the coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought he really had run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he went back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard, by the way. Has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his clever tricks. He flip-flopped, he flop-flipped, he rolled over, he played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly to the gate but suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. Look, what did he dig up? <gasps> he found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bath and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't your brother and you give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, mommy, daddy, come look, come look. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much it had been, how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. I hope you enjoyed that book. All right, I'll be back next week for another story.